Hi. Today let's talk about repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is a product of our faith. After we receive our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, the Holy Spirit, the first thing that we're going to do is there will be a regeneration. We will be born again. So the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will dwell us. And now we can do repentance. So repentance is changing our way, getting you torn 180 degrees from that direction, from your direction, going to the direction of the Lord. What God wants us to do that is repentance changing our will into the will of the Lord and today I would like to share to you about this verse John 12 to help us to understand uh, the repentance you know that because of pride of life that's the cause that the separation of man to God because of the pride that is also how uh, Lucifer was fall because of pride Adam and Eve because of the, the, the fruit of um, the knowledge he wanted to become like God he wanted to know and because of that disobedience they were cut, their relationship to God were separated. So the pride of life. The first thing that we're going to change is our pride. Our self. Who he is. Because human nature, we have the pride is... We are so prideful. We are so high. So the challenge there is how can we... How... We will submit and surrender ourselves before God. We need to surrender. That is first thing that we're going to do to surrender, not be self-controlled, but we should always think that we are not the owner now of our life, but it is our God. Because after we believe the blood of Lord Jesus Christ to save us, the Holy Spirit now who is empowering us. It is not our flesh, but it is the Holy Spirit who is in us. So before we love what is in the world, what is the best thing in this world, we love our life. We have our own way. This is what we're going to do. This is what uh, we love to do without God. In Deuty 5 says, whoever loves his life will lose it. If we love ourselves and we don't acknowledge the work of our God, this life will will gone, will vanish. But if we hate what is in this world, when we hate ourselves, old self, we need to surrender, we need to crucify it on the cross together with to our Lord Jesus Christ and God will give us life and there will be a repentance so in Galatians chapter 5 um, verse 19 this is also um, help us to explain what is the human nature the, the, the nature of man of who we are so when you followed in verse 19, Galatians 5, 19, when you follow the desires, your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outburst of anger, selfish ambition, Dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and others in like this. The, the, 
with this kind of scene with that in that looking now god so we need to change this because this nature is is designed is already in us and we need to remove we need to crucify this nature sinful nature so how can we do that trusting surrendering really to our holy spirit because we cannot do it by our own self that is what happening in the old testament there is the law the law is designed so that to help people to um to change their life to become holy before god but man the flesh of man cannot being nature is is so weak that cannot follow the law that is why the holy spirit is dwelling in us god give us new life god give us a new spirit to help us to change this this nature human nature so the old nature is we need to crucify for christ together with the lord when we believe when we um accept our lord jesus christ when we believe the power of the blood that the holy spirit is in us and now it says here in uh in 26 if anyone serves me he must follow me and where i am my servant will be as well and if anyone serves me the father will honor him we want to believe Lord Jesus Christ we need to serve him and we need to follow him so before we don't acknowledge the work of Lord Jesus Christ we have our own life we have our own way but before we need to read the Word of God we need to learn more about Jesus Christ we need to learn more about the work of the Holy Spirit the work of the Trinity the work of God to us And we need to entrust to the Holy Spirit and the Father will honor us if we will serve the Lord Jesus Christ so the Holy Spirit will help us to change our lives I know it's really hard to change I cannot change you this your pastor cannot change you. no one can change us except when we entrust to the Lord, when we submit, when we surrender 100% to God, especially to the Holy Spirit who is now in us. That's why the Holy Spirit is living, is living His, He dwells, He sealed us. Because this human nature is really hard. That's why God is with us to help us to do what is right. Our work of the Holy Spirit is He sanctify us so that we can walk into righteousness before God. We can follow Christ. Because God is holy and we should be holy. And the Holy Spirit is working in us the moment we receive our Lord Jesus Christ by faith through His grace. And if we walk in the Spirit, so there is the... Um, are uh, we, we in our lives there will be a fruit of the spirit that we can walk there will be love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control this is how we should live this is how sh should a follower of Christ should live how a Christian so when we follow Christ, we are now called Christian because we are follower of Christ. So repentance is a product of our faith, of our belief toward Jesus Christ. So when we believe, we need to follow our Jesus Christ and trust to Him, and let the Holy Spirit will will empower, will guide us. As we live in this world before we plan only by our own desire our own our own plan 
But now we always consider the will, the plan of the Lord in our lives. And we always submit to God. What is a way of submission to God? Prayer. Prayer is a way that we surrender to God. It means that we cannot do by our own self, but by the help of the Holy Spirit, with the help of God, we surrender that He will help us. He will guide us. He will show to us the right way. He will show us the right thing to do in our lives. I also remember the joy of the Lord is our strength. And the Lord will help us and guide us wherever we go. Only Jesus can help us. Our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and the Father will, will help, will guide us to the trying God will work in our lives. So God bless everyone. I hope and pray that God will enlighten us and may the Holy Spirit illumine this word so we can understand what's the message of God to us. God bless you.